the Bell study is a very simple study. We want to answer one question. It's about the patients that we have in metastatic breast cancer with the worst prognosis. Those are the patients with high to negative tumors who relapse very quickly just after optimal adjuvant therapy. So whatever if the patients are triple negative or you're positive, even this year positive are very low endocrine sensitivity because they are also progressing to endocrine therapy. So we know that those patients have the dismal prognosis. The median overall survival for this population in general is sh uh, shorter than 15 months. So they behave very badly, even worse than many patients in second third line. So the idea for these uh, patients was to explore the activity of ribulin a single agent. Okay, and, and that was the, the, the main objective of the study. The results in two ways, uh, extremely well tolerated, so mm, very few uh, treatment related interruptions or uh, uh, stops. Uh, on the other, the activity in terms of uh, response rate was not impressive, 20%, and the median time to progression was four months.